With the Natsu Banzuke published, it's officially Bashiro season again. With less than a week until the return of sumo action, here are some of the biggest stories and most pressing questions on the minds of sumo fans this May. As many of you know, Yokozuna Hakaho scored his 42nd Yushu last March, but his win came with a terrible price. In his final day match with fellow Yokozuna Kakryu, Hakaho tore the Koriko Brachialis in his right arm bicep. As a result of the rarity of this injury, Hakaho decided to forego surgery in a move that has evoked shades of Kisuno Sato's career-ending injury. While Hakaho was present on the Jungyo tour, he did not take part in any strenuous practice and has only recently begun training. Though the Yokozuna is optimistic about his physical condition, the state of his arm and what limitations the injury will have on his sumo won't truly be seen until he takes to the doyo on May 12th. One of the most exciting stories of 2019 has been the meteoric rise of young star Takakesho, who debuts as Shinozeki this May. It will be interesting to see how this talented rikshi does at his new rank, and I hope he can live up to his dream of not disgracing the title of Ozeki. Another man looking to impress this May is former Ozeki Tochinoshin, who has suffered for some time with a series of lower body injuries. Tochinoshin's day 15 loss to Takakesho at Haru relegated him back to Sekiwaki, but with 10 wins, the Georgian will regain his Ozeki ship. The pressure will be on Tochinoshin to score double digit wins. But don't fear, reports show that he has been training hard and is in good shape for Natsu. I am excited to see how Takakesho responds to the pressures of being an Ozeki and if Tochinoshin can make his return to Sumo's second highest rank. Natsu will see two new Rikshi make their first Makuchi Division appearances. I am of course talking about the very dominant Shimonomi and the ever popular Enho. Shimonomi enters Makuchi following back-to-back -back Jiryo Yusho, and while his spot on the Banzuke of East Magashira 12 may be lower than many predicted, I believe his rank will afford him an easier transition into the top division. Joining him is the diminutive Enho, whose never-give-up sumo has earned him an international following. Unfortunately for Enho, the young up-and-comer suffered a shoulder injury at Haru that continues to trouble him. Enho is no stranger to a challenge, however, he's been fighting much larger competitors for years, and he appears determined to make the most of his first basho in Makuchi. I'm eager to see what Enho and Shimonomi can do in the top division later this month. With so many fascinating stories going into the Natsu Basho, the May tournament is shaping up to be another great one.